One of the things that comes up fairly often with site cut uh, is we have a nested result like this and we really want to save the scrap material, that uh, leftover uh, sheet of material. Uh, we want to use that up at a later time and how can we do that? We have this weird shape in the middle and there's really no way built into site cut, um, you know, just regular site cut for us to take uh, the end of a resulted sheet and save it as a plate. Uh, but I have a way where we can go ahead and save it as a plate and you can get as fussy with this as you want. Uh, you grab polyline. It does help to see the grid a little bit. Uh, when I reference a number, it's going to be down here. Uh, so we're going to look for a grid section. And when we find that grid section where it says grid, uh, we're going to see that our one of our numbers is uh, a zero and 420. So we'll go ahead and click there. And we're going to just draw across. Now you could, you can with the polyline draw in all the little geometry, but you don't, you also don't have to. Uh, I guess that would really depend on how expensive your sheet was. If your material is, you know, something really expensive like uh, brass or copper or something like that, uh, I suppose it would make a lot more sense to be a little bit more fussy. And if you're wanting to snap exactly on the grids, you can. Uh, you just have to zoom in and let it light up a grid. Uh, I'm just going to kind of snap generally. The only thing that's really important is that your last... Uh, section that you have, uh, your one of your points is your zero. So we see down there it's 1100 and then comma zero zero. That means that we're at the edge of the sheet and that's important. Okay, now we're going to find the corner and that number will vary by your sheet size. My sheets are 1220 by 1220 so that's the numbers that we're gonna see pop up. And then back to the last corner and then we're going to zoom in and snap on to our starting sheet. Now we click the C key, uh, which will close our um, polyline. All right. Now, right now we have this selected, so uh, let's copy this. Go to our primary document, paste. Okay, and that is our remnant sheet, and we're going to click Add to Plate Library. If you missed any of the corners, like you didn't have the, the lines closed, uh, polyline is good for keeping lines closed, but if you did not have your lines closed, it won't allow you to add it to a plate library. It will say a uh, legal result or a legal drawing or something like that. Anyway, uh, we have it in the plate library, so we're gonna go ahead and delete from primary document so we don't make duplicates. At this point, we can save it and we can give it a descriptor. Um, the thickness of material, the type of material, and we can give it a number. And then when we're done with this, we can write that number on the sheet. Uh, that way we can find this sheet, because they all kind of look the same after a while. Uh, so we'll want to make sure that we save this. Uh, save it, and then write a number on the sheet in reality. That way you can find the real sheet to go with your uh, plate number. Um, okay, so now we go back to here. Two options for this. Uh, you can select the line and delete it if you're okay with leaving a square sheet with these holes cut in it um, that that would be fine in most cases but if you want to we can cut this this chunk out and we'll just be left with a plate that looks just like the plate uh, our nest plate it'll look just like this uh, and the way we can do that is instead of just deleting it we're going to go back go back to nest plate make sure I'm actually there Okay, we, we have selected our lines, and we're going to go to Group, and we're going to go to Explode Graphics. All right, so now every line is a line all by itself. And we're going to select each of the lines and delete them. And I'm just clicking on them and clicking the Delete key. And the only thing we want to be careful of is that we don't delete the white line around the perimeter. It is possible to do. Uh, that white line is our sheet perimeter. Okay, now you can uh, select the line, hold the shift key down, and we can select all the line segments. You can scan over them too if there are a bunch of them. If you've done the little thing where you've gone around every sheet, you'll want to use uh, the select by window uh, by holding the shift key down and then scanning over. 
uh, that can be useful as well. Okay, so we have that all selected. And we'll want to set that for last layer, which is layer 16, and we'll turn into a dotted yellow line. Uh, and what that's going to do is after it cuts everything else, it'll pull up the uh, layer, last layer tab, which is right here. Uh, and it will cut with the parameters set there. So you have to load the parameters of the material you're cutting. If you're cutting, you know, 22 gauge, load up your 22 gauge parameters. If you're cutting something else, load those parameters up. And what it will do is it will cut around the perimeter and then when it's done, it, it'll finish up and you might need to come in with a pair of snips and finish the cut off because sometimes it doesn't get perfectly to the edge. And then you'll be left with your uh, scrap piece and your uh, piece with your nest result in it. Um, basically a very easy way to uh, have your sheets nest out perfectly. And then that nest plate, it will nest out just like any other plate. All you do is you select just that Let's go over my parts list. I have this. Um, this is just a little square. Let me go ahead and nest a thousand of them in. Click the nest key. Only selected plates and selected parts. It'll actually prefer smaller sheets. So if you do all plates in library, uh, it will load them up. But we're going to click only selected plates. And we're going to click OK. And we see that it has filled up our nest result with those little tiny holes. Uh, so again, it treats it like a normal sheet. Uh, so there's, there's not a whole lot to it. You just have to, uh, you know, the, the big thing is just keeping this orderly so you don't, don't have a whole bunch of sheets that you can't identify later um, because your the CAD program does have to be reconciled to a sheet in reality. So hope this was helpful. Have a good day.